These guys are on fire. Time to cool them off, kid. Hey, MP, I got some film. Hopefully they got that out of their system in the last one. No doubt. They were on fire. I don't think anything could have stopped them. Even you. Yeah, I like to think if they were playing us, we'd have slowed them down a little. No. Or at least had an answer on the other end. Now we get a chance to find out. They're riding a wave of confidence. Uh, we gotta take them out of that quickly. Absolutely. Belief is a powerful thing, but so is doubt. I hear that. Just remember, blowout or nail biter, you get buckets one at a time. So focus, play your game, and execute. We winning this one tonight. I can feel it. You can take them. I just they can't stop you. MP. They can't Show stop what you. you. Got. Here we go! That's what I'm talking about! Confident and ready for action, the Bulls, as they head to the locker room earlier, the hometown crowd certain to give them a warm welcome. Happy holidays, everyone, from all of us at 2K Sports. Thanks for joining us at this most special time of the year. Tonight, we'll see the San Antonio Spurs as they play against the Chicago Bulls here at their home, United Center. I'm Brian Anderson, alongside Grant Hill, Steve Smith, and Allie LaForce. And a look at the starters for the Spurs. Vassell and Johnson are the two and the three. Inside at the four and five, it's Sohan and Wimbanyama. And it's James in at the point. And for the Bulls, on the wings, it's the dynamite pair of Levine and DeRozan. Williams and Vucevic patrol the inside. And it's Ball in at point guard. 
Well, we got an old-fashioned matchup on our hands tonight, Grant. Two teams who deploy impactful big men. Yeah, B.A., and in a league where perimeter play so often is the deciding factor, tonight I expect this to be a slugfest inside. And the Spurs start out with a ball. James against ball. James inside. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Guys, MP and his team have their hands full with this matchup. They're facing a team that's coming off a massive win. Their offense looked unstoppable on their way to a blowout. They'll be looking to carry over that momentum into this game. But MP and his squad have other ideas. It should be an entertaining clash. And it's the Bulls with the ball. The Spurs making their last shot. And it's DeRozan missing. And so it's Johnson with it. He brings it up for the San Antonio Spurs. And there's James from the arc. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. Oh, Grant, it seems like just yesterday that the Spurs were drafting a generational big man. <laughs> of all the places for Wimby to go, the Spurs were ideal. It continues the line of elite talents to play under Pop. He'll learn from the best, and we're all excited to see what he can do. Vucevic's shot is off. Everything worked except for the outcome. You want him to shoot that every time. Let's it go from the wing. And rebounded by Zach Levine. Couldn't quite line that one up. Just got to shake it off and move on to the next one. Back to ball. Kicks it to DeRozan. Pass to Levine. Five to shoot. Going inside. The shot no good. For San Antonio, they've gone two of three from the floor. The baseline J is on the way. James, that's good. James has got seven points. And the first quarter of action, two minutes in. James against ball. Williams a screen on Vassell. Levine passes to Williams. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Levine. Sharing the wealth. Zach Levine sees someone with a better shot and moves the ball. James against ball. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. And Grant a positive for the Bulls over the last few seasons. They work hard to get good shots. Well, B.A., that's definitely part of their DNA. They've had the personnel to do it and guys who are disciplined and patient. You know, Grant, last season for the Spurs, their worst winning percentage since 1997. And for a franchise that's done so much winning, B.A., kind of strange to see. I mean, four straight years missing the playoffs, but before that, 22 straight playoff appearances and five titles. Now here's DeRozan. What a tremendous game he played against the Lakers. And the basket is good. Once he gets inside like that, there's nothing you can do against DeRozan. James deciding where to go with it. Can't hit that one. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for Chicago. It's a five-point game. DeRozan up top. Williams a screen on Johnson. Outside, Williams. Six to shoot. It's DeRozan with a drive. It's good. DeRozan's got his second basket of the game. Very few defenders in this league feel comfortable with DeRozan coming right at them on the drive like that. James inside. Hounded by ball. James, that's good. Throughout the evening, he's gotten to his spots, and the defense has not adjusted. Pass to Vucevic. Oh, it's blocked by Wimbanyama. With his length and energy, Wimbanyama has the ability to be a game-changing defender. Chicago trailing here. 58 seconds left in the first. DeRozan into the lane. Can't connect from short range. I mean, you won't see this too often. Getting denied at the rim. He's likely to remember that one. 
Ooh, took him no time at all to get that one. James has got 13. His shot making has been superb this quarter. He's taken over this game. Levine with it. Now guarded by Wimbanyama. Levine passes to DeRozan. Williams from long range. Drills it from deep. He's got five. Total readiness from Patrick. Got his feet set and just waiting for his number to be called. James outside. Shoots over ball. James can't get that one to fall. Here's Levine for three. Rebounded by the Spurs. And this game, the first chance they've had to see Chicago. Not exactly the biggest game on the season schedule, but both teams are capable of flashing serious potential. You know what? Every win counts in this league, and both of these teams want every victory they can get. That free throw, good from James. And that's good as he hits both shots. Levine way outside. Misses the deep three-point attempt. And so it's San Antonio leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. They're communicating well and stringing together stops. And don't go far. We'll be right back. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. All right, guys, what's your take on the Spurs so far? Well, I think it's pretty obvious they were well prepared defensively coming in. Yes, what they do, they take away the things that teams like to do offensively. Also keeping them out of sync. Andre Drummond. He's checked in for San Antonio. James comes in for Graham. San Antonio's gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. When it comes to Levine Smitty, he has a great combination of skills at the offensive end. He does, B.A. Zach can shoot lights out from the perimeter, and he's explosive when he attacks the basket. Just the kind of guy you want on your side. Here's Terry, following the bucket by the Spurs. Drummond to screen on Johnson. And there's the foul. It's on Keldon Johnson. That's his first foul. Nikola Vucevic is checked in for Chicago. Lonzo Ball comes in for Carter. Craig passes to Ball. Levine against James. Now here's Ball. He's closely guarded. To the inside, Levine. Collins with the rebound. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. Well, guys, the professor in the last outing against the Bucks was a man on a mission. He added 61 points. And he came out of nowhere in that one, burying some triples in the process. What a game for him. And against their rivals, no less, which had to make him feel extra special. Guys, back to you. Outstanding. Thanks. Impressive ability to carry his team to victory, Grant. Yeah, B.A., I was really impressed. They wouldn't have won the game if it wasn't for his attacking mindset and will to win. And that's what every player has control of, his level of activity. It allows you to impact the game even if the shot isn't falling. And they're winning and playing with great confidence, but they need to be more efficient with those three-pointers. Ball left side. Outside Craig. Puts up a deep three. Collins with the rebound. 
and he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Grant, you had a terrific mid-range game. It feels like more players are going back to that now. Yeah, you know, it's interesting, B.A. The analytics say dunks and three-pointers. But that makes your offense almost just two-dimensional. In many cases, too predictable. You're seeing more and more players, particularly the elite ones, finding comfort in the mid-range. Yeah, he tried to gain position, but couldn't quite get there. The Bulls making a switch here. Terry's checked in. And San Antonio with a change here, too. Sohan's checked in. Levine against James. Six on the shot clock. Vucevic, a screen on Johnson. Launches it from deep. San Antonio with a rebound. Wimben Yama's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's James. Again, the Spurs score. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. Ball with it. He's picked up by Jones. Ball looks over the floor. Here's Levine for three. Jones grabs the board. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. And you see the impressive basketball IQ Jones possesses. Keenly aware of when someone is open. Impressive looks on the AT&T 5G slam cam. Chicago has gone 2 of 5 from distance here in the second quarter. Levine with a screen on Jones. Pass to Levine to halt the run. It's hauled in by Wimbanyama. Wimbanyama's got his sixth rebound on the night. I can see he's pressing a little now, trying desperately to help them shrink this deficit. You're not going to get stops against him unless you give an effort. There's 49 seconds left in the first half of this one. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. Let's keep it up. Some changes for Chicago. Williams is checked in for Craig. DeMar DeRozan comes in for Terry. And it's Carter in for Levine. And San Antonio with a change here too. Vassell's checked in. Vucevic finds DeRozan. Ball outside. Carter against Vassell. Carter, the pass to Ball to snap the cold streak. It's hauled in by Wimbanyama. Wimbanyama's got seven rebounds in the game. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Riding the hot hand, and why not? If something's working, keep going to it. Three-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. DeRozan passes to Ball. Back to DeRozan. Now, here's Williams. The three ball. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now. Three for three. Doesn't shoot often from deep, but Williams gives them the ability to use him from outside. 
Out of bounds. It'll be Bulls ball. And so the San Antonio Spurs up 14 as we wrap up the quarter. The hustle they've shown on defense has been tremendous. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. I like the way they've attacked the boards. I guess when you control the glass, it really helps you control the flow of the game. And those extra... All right, and now one of the more highly anticipated topics. Some news about trades to discuss. And Adams are getting arguably the strongest man in the NBA, at least since I left. I mean, bone-crushing screens. He's a great rebounder, and he doesn't need the ball to play inside. I mean, I don't know. He might be strong as you, Shaq. Yeah, stop it. Thanks for tuning in. Now we head back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Here's Ball. Still no points. So on the floor for San Antonio. Johnson is at the three with Sohan down at the four. Then there's Devin Vassell. Then there's Wimbanyama. And it's James in at the one. You know, we talk a lot about scoring efficiency. He's displaying the exact opposite. Vassell passes to James. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. Great pass from Devin. He's all about doing what's best for the team. And so here is Chicago trailing by 17 with Vassell out there. There's a lot he brings to the table, Steve. Yeah, he can make a difference at both ends of the floor, and I know they like that about him. If he has an off night shooting the ball, he still adds value with his defense. Just five on the clock. Here's DeRozan. Johnson with the defensive effort. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. And that one's good. James. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Pass to Williams. Back to ball. And here's Levine. He's guarded by Vassell. Top of the key. Levine can't hit. You hate to pile on, but his poor shooting night has really hurt the team. James against Levine. It's James with the drive. No good. The Bulls have gone 0 for 3 to start the second half. Levine passes to DeRozan. Back to Vucevic. It's stolen by Johnson. And there's James from the arc. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. And with New Year's fast approaching, let's see our power rankings for an idea of how everyone's year is looking. Taking a look at the Nuggets. They're building some momentum right now and aiming for a spot in the top five. Well, I think for San Antonio, they've been giving their all in every game, eager to show those who doubted them that they're capable of being the top team. Now, now here's Ball. He's scoreless. DeRozan outside. And the shot goes. And that's got to be a relief. Finally getting something to go here in the second half. And so it's James with it. He brings it up for San Antonio. And it's cleared by Vucevic. The Bulls have gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. 
Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Well, Devin Vassell's game is more varied than he's given credit for. He said, quote, when I first got drafted, 3 and D was the label, but I'm more than that. I excel at all three levels, but people throw labels around, and it's fine with me. At the end of the day, I just try and hoop and prove people wrong. Brian? That's all it takes. He's a man on a mission. Thanks, Allie. He's shaking the hoop. He's actually shaking the whole building. Oh, what a slam. Look here. The fan's going crazy right now. Pass to DeRozan. Vucevic, a screen on Johnson. DeRozan passes to Vucevic. Good D by Wimbanyama. Unusual for him, just a lack of concentration. Fails to finish the play. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Well, some have called DeMar DeRozan a master of the mid-range, Smitty. Maybe rightly so. The AI definitely give him that title. Few guys are as efficient in that area as him. In fact, most avoid it. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. And in deciding against lowering the minimum age for the NBA draft, Grant, do you think it's fair to 17 and 18 year olds who want to go pro? You know, B.A., I do think it's fair. I mean, there are other avenues in today's basketball environment where compensation for these guys is possible. You have the overseas route. You have the G League Ignite. And of course, now colleges have the NIL. So that's huge. DeRozan hits them both. There is a humbleness to DeRozan's game that's hard not to love. He knows what he does well and just zeroes in on being the best. Now here's Vassell. No points yet. Back to Jones. Hey, from beyond the arc. And no good. And for the Bulls, they're shooting around 33%. Not the best offensive efficiency. Ball no good. San Antonio's gotten 6 of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. Here's James. Rebound by the Bulls. Ball outside. Pass to Carter from deep. Collins with the rebound. For San Antonio, they've gone four of nine in the third quarter. For three, James hits the three-pointer. James has got 45 points. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Carter finds ball. We've got 33 seconds left in the third quarter. Back to Carter. The three is up. Rebounded by Johnson. You know, he was looking for revenge, trying to match shots from distance. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That free throw, good from James. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Here's Terry. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Pass to Drummond. Craig up top. Here's Terry. And again, Chicago no good. And so the San Antonio Spurs up 25 big ones as we head into the next period. It hasn't taken them too many shots to get their points. They're winning with efficiency. We'll be right back. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today coming from an unlikely position. It's the big fellow with the sweetest pass of the day. You know, it takes good vision and it takes good decision making right there. He showed both and he did so at a very high level.
And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. San Antonio's gone 7-14 from the perimeter in this one. Zach Levine out there with Javon Carter. Then it's Andre Drummond. Then it's Torrey Craig. And it's Terry in at the three. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Down the stretch. This is when they need him the most. And he is delivering. And Chicago has possession. Following the bucket by the Spurs. Here's Levine for three. Nails it from beyond the arc. Good offense. Unselfish. Levine gets his shot. Here's James. And it's good. He hits another one. Yeah, only a handful of the all-time greats have more 50-point games than he does. He's moved all the way into a tie for fourth place on that list. It's himself and James Harden. And from there, only Kobe, MJ, and Wilt are ahead of him. Wilt may be hard to track down, but he's got the others in his sights. Shot clock at five. Here's Levine for three. Rebounded by the Spurs. Wimben Yama's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Outside Carter. Drummond with the screen. Carter, the pass to Drummond. Ball, he's checked in for Carter. Champinney, he's checked in for San Antonio. And it's Collins with the ball for the Spurs. Here's James. And got it! Another basket! <laughs> That's 52 points for him. Making it all look too easy right now. Pass to Levine. And in terms of the league as a whole, there have been some of the highest scoring seasons in history the last few years, Grant. Well, B.A., it's all about pace. And across the board, teams are playing much, much faster. Faster than ever. It also seems like defense might be turning into a lost art. So I don't know if it's all for the best. Levine with it. Outside Craig. Puts up a three. And it's good. Credit Levine with the assist. Levine's got five assists in the game. Pass to Osman. Here's James. He's covered by Levine. The three. And it's James with the three. James has got 55. Dominating when it matters most. Give him the ball and get out of the way. Here's Levine. Again, the Bulls score. Yes, Levine filling out the defense makes a good decision to pull up. It's James on the wing. He's covered by Levine. Got it. Good job in the low post. James has got 57 points. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Expanding upon this lead, trying to close it out. He's really stepped up. With the flexibility to adjust at the rim, Drummond can catch the pass almost anywhere and still throw it down. He is single-handedly carrying this team right now thanks to his terrific scoring performance so far in this game. Levine against James. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And Grant, in league news, how about your former coach? Coach K taking on an advisory role with the NBA. Well, B.A., tremendous experience and leadership from that man. Four decades at the college level, the men's national team. I mean, the league recruiting a blue chipper if there ever was one. Mama Kalashvili checked in for San Antonio. Graham comes in for Champagne. It's almost hard to believe that Zach Levine is still getting better. But he really is maturing into his game and getting sharper as a player. He's their go-to. They keep calling his number, and he delivers. Chicago's gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Picked by Vucevic. Levine passes to Vucevic. Jones against Ball. Pass to DeRozan. There's the three. It's good. And the assist that time from Ball. Ball's got his third assist of the night. And let's face it, this one was never really in question. They came out with purpose and just overwhelmed the opposition. A great win for the Spurs.
And the disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, B.A., just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams meet, <laughs> I can't imagine it'll be any different. And with this one safely in the books, it'll mark their 23rd win of the year. And against a non-conference opponent, you really want to win the first one. They'll go into the next one knowing how to beat this team for sure. And what a huge performance it was for the professor. High-level shock making what we got a chance to witness. He responded to good defense with better offense time and time again. Here's Ball following the bucket by the Spurs. Here's Levine. Uses the glass to finish the layup. They're on a little run right now, but I'm wondering, where was this energy earlier? Well, the question becomes, are they playing that much better now, or has their opponent taken the rest of the night off? DeRozan with the ball. Picked up by Collins. DeRozan double-teamed. Williams from long range. Here's Vucevic. And the power finished by Vucevic. Great positioning by Vucevic. Hustle points for the big man. Here's James. And slam dunk by James. Yeah, they blocked out the noise, blocked out the distractions, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. And guess what? It's going to be a fun flight home. Total team effort. Big win on the road. So we see the Spurs taking the W here. This one wasn't Good even game. close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle that never came. Yeah, and this team was consistent throughout. They met every challenge, and they earned this dub. And that'll do it, folks. So for Grant That's Hill, Allie LaForce, and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson, thanking everyone for watching tonight's game. So long, everybody. Great effort. Nicely done. Wow, you guys don't let up, huh? Felt like you were punishing that team for something. What format are you thinking? What message do you think this win sends to the rest of the league about your ability to compete at the highest level? Um, we don't send messages. We win. If anybody wants to stop us, they're more than welcome to try. Uh, but we don't need to make any statements. Everyone knows what we're about. Have your hand. No, no. Have a list on my desk.
Big D, baby. Let's get it.
MP, I got some film. That's what I'm saying. The way we've been playing, I can't wait to get out there. We've been winning, but there's still plenty to clean up. You're not wrong, but it's okay to enjoy this a little. I am enjoying it. I'm enjoying it so much, I don't want it to stop. Which is why I want to make sure we, you, don't get complacent. I don't believe in momentum. You believe in hard work. I know. <sighs> if we pull out ten in a row, I'm celebrating. <laughs> That'll give you something to do while I'm crunching game film and finding all your mistakes. <laughs> uh -huh. Like this, for instance. You want to talk about that? I mean... Game time, MP. Let's get it. Greetings and best wishes for a happy holiday season from all of us at 2K Sports as we get set for this NBA presentation. With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. And joining us on the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. And the starting group for the Spurs, the cell in the wing along with Johnson. Rem Benyama is the center with Sohan next to him. And it's James in at the point. And for the Mavericks. The star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. Then there's Daniel Gafford. And it's Green. And it's Prosper in at the four slot. They'll have their work cut out for them in this one, Doris. As we know, teams typically don't play as well on the second night of a back-to-back. -back. You're right, Kevin, because that all comes down to fatigue. A rested team obviously has an advantage over a team playing the second in as many nights. The numbers always back that up. And so here is Dallas. After the basket by San Antonio. Fires for three. Rebound by Sohan. Here's James. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Yeah, good job to take it right at the D. Kyrie was the big signing for the Mavs this summer. And, Greg, they altered their roster quite a bit. Yeah, they needed to mix up their approach, right? That They liked the Luke and Kyrie pairing. Now they're all in with this core for the next few years. And it's Irving with the ball for Dallas. Pass to Gaffer. Here's Doncic. Rebounded by the Spurs. Great contest by the defender, but that's a dunk you've got to put down in his face. And here's James outside. That shot is no good, and he's one for three from the floor. Doncic against James. Irving passes to Doncic. Rem Benyama with the rebound. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Vassell finds James. Let's the three fly. Another miss for him. Now shooting one for four from the floor. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Here's Doncic. Rem Benyama with the rebound. And they're one of five to start this game. Just really haven't gotten into a flow offensively. Here's James. Pass to Vassell. Launches it. That one's in his first shot this game. And what do you expect from Vassell? He's an accurate shooter from the perimeter. Outside Irving. Back to Doncic. And the dunk by Doncic. Some power 
coming from the PG. Ah, that's right, GA. Seeing more and more of that these days. Backcourt guys who can elevate. We know versatility is huge in this game. Just a tremendous job finishing that play. Wow. Pass to Prosper. Kicks it to Doncic. Irving dishes to Doncic. Just five on the clock. Johnson with some nice D. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end, certainly. He cannot buy a bucket right now. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. So Gafford will go to the free throw line. It's going to be on Victor Wembenyama. Zach Collins checked in for the Spurs. Free throw, no good for Gafford. And usually one of the league leaders in field goal percentage, Doris, Daniel Gafford. What a solid contributor. Kevin, you love those role players who play within themselves, and that's exactly what Gafford gives you, an understanding of what his team needs, rim running, rim protection, and rebounding. You see the offensive force that is Kyrie Irving. Sometimes it's his scoring right there. It's his passing. James looking it over. A minute 20 left in the first quarter. Traps in the tray. James has got six. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. James against Doncic. Irving kicks to Doncic. Over James. And it was still over the rim. Offensive basket interference. So both teams making some changes here. And here's Collins. He'll bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. He's making a switch here. Irving's checked in. San Antonio also making some changes. Rembenyama, he's checked in for Collins. Johnson comes in for Devin Vassell. And James subbed in for Devontae Green. On the court for San Antonio. Rembenyama is the center with Sohan next to him. Trey Jones out there with James. And it's Johnson in at the small forward position. Now here's Irving after the miss from James. It's good, and the San Antonio lead is cut down now to just 11. On the basket from Irving. And his presence as a scorer, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need one. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, guys, the professor in that last outing against Chicago was sensational. He picked up 67 points, and as we've come to expect, he filled it up from three-point range whenever he could. Some really gaudy numbers from him. A show for the ages. We'll see if he has an encore tonight, guys. Thanks, David. Yeah, it was a special night for him. The team really fed off his energy. Yeah, the catalyst for that win, it, it was an effort that I'm sure he's hoping to replicate tonight. Well, there's no doubt. He certainly looked like he was enjoying himself in that last game. He had his offense flowing. And looking to push this win streak to double digits, MP saying, don't disturb this group. It can't last forever, but while it does, a winning streak is one of those galvanizing experiences, don't you think, for a team all season long? Love seeing a point guard who can explode to the rim like that. Oh, great attitude and even a better finish. Boy, it's incredible how much explosive scoring ability can come from the lead guard position. That is a big-time play. There's three-pointers off the mark. Spurs leading by 13. Jones fires James. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Spurs. 
absolutely dialed in from beyond the arc so far in this one. The defense is surrendering the long-range shot here early on. Yeah, and in addition, their ball movement has really unleashed their offense. Boy, they've been fun to watch. Vassell, he's checked in for Jones. No idea why he's attempting so many outside shots. It's not his day, and he needs to either look to drive or get it to an open teammate. And just feeding the open man. Nice recognition there from Vassell. 55 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. James against Doncic. And here's Green outside. San Antonio with the rebound. Sohan's got rebound number five here tonight. And it's James missing. Mavericks trailed by 17. Doncic outside. Pass to Prosper. Off target from outside. San Antonio's gone three of four with the long range bombs here in the second quarter. And here's James outside. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. Well, this second quarter has proven to be a turnaround. This guy looking much more comfortable all of a sudden. Here's Doncic. Here's Prosper. And they get it. And the rejection by Wembenyama. And so it's the San Antonio Spurs closing out the quarter with a 20-point lead. And with as many three-pointers as they done, bring, baby. it's easy to see why they're on the cusp of a blowout. We'll return shortly. Hey, everybody. First off, let's take a gander at what's been happening on the trading block. And Shaq, looking back, what have been some of your favorite trades? Law enforcement, movies. See, this is what happens when you're a celebrity and you're given too much access. I will now proceed to demonstrate my favorite wrestling move on Kenny. And back to the matchup at hand. Everything has been going smoothly for the San Antonio Spurs. Unstoppable from range. That was the story of the first half. Defenders tried to chase them off their spots, but they made some tough, tough shots. And they had that relentless approach. They don't mind missing one or two. They just keep on coming at you. And that's a halftime wrap. Let's get back to the second half with the call by Kevin Harlan and the crew. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. It's been a clinic out there by James. Yeah, he's just been raining down on them from deep here. Talk about dialed in. Well, the break certainly didn't have a cooling effect on him at all. He's in a great rhythm, looking comfortable and confident. The star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. And it's green. Then there's Daniel Gafford, and it's Prosper in at the four. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Now here's James. They lead by 20. That's the most we've seen. Coaches say, GA, the league has a problem when it's punishing the retaliators and not the instigators. Do they have a point? Kevin, I think so. But for any scuffle, it's worth asking who started it, and that's what we do in life normally, right? And when it comes to Luka Doncic, he's simply, Greg, one of the best players in the entire game. No question about it. He's a threat to record a triple-double every time he takes the floor. As versatile and dangerous a player as there is in our league. You often hear the phrase franchise player. When you think about Luka Doncic and the amount he controls the action, the MVP level play, he is the true definition of it. Both good from the line that time. And here is James. He's got 23. There's the pass to Sohan. In the corner, it's James. Puts it up. That's in there. Johnson with the assist. 25 points for the professor. 
an emerging part of his game. Johnson's becoming a better playmaker. Irving from long range. Gets that one to fall. That's his sixth field goal. He has shot the ball 12 times. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Now I think that's the one thing every player is searching for. Consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. And stolen by James. And now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks very much. Now the Mavericks all-time great Dirk Nowitzki this summer was enshrined in the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame and received a huge statue outside the Mavericks arena. The iconic one-legged fadeaway immortalized in bronze. Inscribed on the base, loyalty never fades away. 21 letters, one for each of his 21 seasons playing in Dallas. Kevin? Isn't that something? Great stuff, D.A., thank you. And it'll be the Mavericks with their first time out here of the game. And as we approach the new season, some new talent making the most of their opportunity in the league. Let's check out the race for Rookie of the Year. Some great young players. You look at Wembenyama. What a start to his NBA career he's had. Wow. You know, you knew he could be special, and he's showing everyone why as he sits third in the rankings. And it's a testament to his ability and toughness that he's got himself into that number three spot in the Rookie of the Year rankings. Well, let's be real. The getting to know you phase is over. So I'm interested to see if opponents start to figure him out in the second half of this year. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now, here's Doncic. He's got nine. It's good from long range. We know this is one aspect that Luka consistently goes to. It's either in the paint or from deep. You've got to guard the long ball. Here's James. And he lays it straight in. James has got 11 here in this quarter alone. Well, you love that they've been able to rely on him time and time again. You love the effort here late. Effort is screen on Vassell. Irving for three. Johnson with the rebound. San Antonio leading by 23. The three. And James with the basket on the assist by Johnson. 34 points for the professor. Boy, picking up where he left off. His second from distance this half. Five overall. Doncic. Basket number five goes in. He's now 5 of 12 from the floor. A dribble drive by Luka Doncic isn't about speed. It is about craftiness. This guy is so smart. Here's James. And it goes down two points. James has got 16 here in the second half. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Here's the lob to the hoop. And Gafford throws it down. They see the attention Luca draws. That's why his teammates get so many wide open looks. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. And it's never too early to start looking at our contenders for this year's dunk contest. There's no doubt it'll be a terrific showdown of some of the game's best athletes. And it seems like each year the bar keeps getting set higher. I mean, more props, crazier concepts to the competition, the level of dunks. I think this is going to be a good one. You look at James. He'll have a spot in the contest if he can hang out of the number four spot in the voting. And with his skills, you know he'll have a shot to win it if he can make it in. He's going to have a great shot. And, Kevin, he's going to give it everything he's got if he can make it into the contest. I bet his dunks have some serious thought being put into him. So there you go. And as it's looking, this year's dunk contest is shaping up to be a fantastic competition. We'll keep you updated on the voting. No doubt it's going to be a good one, Kevin. We've got players on that list who'll do things that you didn't even think were possible. And again! Oh, another extraordinary effort from him. But we've come to expect this now. Yeah, he's now tied for the fifth most 40-point games over a single season. Setting expectations extremely high. And Doncic gets it to go. 16 points for Luka Doncic. Well, the tight handle allows Luka Doncic to make the pretty move off the bounce. 
breaks it off the glass. 42 points for the professor. Yeah, and he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. Hardaway up top. James covering. Fires the three. Hardaway, no good. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Good on the shot. James has got 44. Just no resistance inside at all. They are feasting. This is a straight buffet. It is. It's a big one. And load the plate. Donchich outside. Jones. Second shot opportunity. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. The three quarters of play all in the books. And this one all but over already. Spurs out in front. Just dominating this one. And we'll get going after this from the American Airlines Center. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. Well, we have some elite passing big men in the NBA, and you love that skill. Wow. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. On the floor for San Antonio, starting the fourth quarter. James is out there with Trey Jones. Then it's Collins. Then there's Devontae Graham. And it's Osman in at the power forward position. From deep, James buries the long-range jumper. James has got 47 points. Three triples in the first half, three in the second. Boy, do they add up. Irving against James. Irving, good. Boy, what a monster night for Kyrie Irving, playing at a very high level right now. Graham with the bounce pass. Here's James. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Jones has got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. And so it's Irving. He brings it up for the Mavericks. Following this game, they hit the road to challenge the Suns at Footprint Center in Phoenix. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. Here's James. That one misses. The Mavericks have gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Hardaway for three. Hits it from three-point range. Wow, something's brewing, guys. The three-pointers just continue to flow. Irving against James. Off target at the rim. Dallas has gone one of two from three-point range here in the fourth. Here's Porter. Rebounded by the Spurs. Shoots from the corner. Again, what an avalanche! And on any given night, he's still capable of putting up the kind of numbers that most guys don't even think about. He's officially moved into fourth place all alone on the list of most 50-point games in NBA history. Next up is Kobe Bean Bryant. That's a legendary mark. If there's one guy capable of reaching it, it's this fella right here. And you can see he just has a great overall feel for this game. Excellent job tonight. And that's been his role pretty much from the opening tip. Get the ball to guys where they can score it. Well, you like how aggressive he is making a play at the rim against length. You have got to believe that you can score against size on the interior. How about the aggressive, assertive move there? Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for Dallas. Doncic comes in for Porter. And San Antonio also making a switch. Mamu Kelishvili is checked in. You see, to me, guys, for Tim Hardaway Jr., there's still another level for him to reach. He has proven that he can be a big-time scorer. To me now, it's about consistency and doing it night after night after night. He's just stretching him out. The defense has got to do a better job of staying attached to him. Well, you know this. This is a guy who's looking for his shot the whole time. You have to know who you're guarding. KYP, know your personnel. Bang shot, no good. 
The Spurs have gone five of eight shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. And that one's good, James. A nice job taking what the defenders gave him. But these guys need a gut check right now. Well, simply stated, simply not enough effort. Not enough attention to detail. They've gotten run over this evening. Hardaway for three. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. San Antonio's gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it, just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for San Antonio. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that, and, and man, they, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And so this is going to end up as victory number 24 on the year. And continued dominance against this team, winning both of their matchups this season. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for the professor. This guy has been shot making all night long. He commands the rock and takes over. Dallas has gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Irving for three. Rebounded by the Spurs. You've got to find a way to get yourself going in some other way because hoisting from three is not the answer. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. Yeah, playing with great energy and great effort. And as a coach, you'd love to see this from your team every single night. Bucket is good. You are not going to find too many better in the mid-range than Kyrie Irving. On the wing, James. Covered by Irving. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. Spirited performance. You love to get this kind of win, especially on the road. You've got to be able to block out all distractions in enemy territory. This team did a tremendous job staying focused on the task at hand. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Feeds to Hardaway. And stolen by James. Over Irving. And yep, another basket. And that's 70. He's unbelievable. You know, they barely needed other contributions. This lead has been built through his offense. Now, Doncic. And so it's San Antonio easily taking this one. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at <laughs> home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Nice work, guys. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great? I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that paid. I need a change in my life, cause I don't feel alive, and there's nothing that makes me happy. Oh. Hold my beer for a minute I'm about to quit my job Cash in for a ticket I'm going on a trip And I don't plan to visit I'm gonna stay there Till I feel like I'm winning all And this is just the beginning I need a big change Help me feel like living I need a big swing Home runs I'm hitting And I'll never look back Moving on till I get it all And we all got dreams We all want things But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? And do you believe Yeah, this is 
my life, my strife, my right to fight, to die, on. Uh. And this is my game to play, to claim a brand new name, oh And I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm a bit nervous that I might screw everything up that I've ever done But what's the point of living if you ain't having fun? I guess I'll try this, try that, might miss, gotta find what I'm good at I guess I look here, look there, over where am I scared, where am I at? I gotta make it in this life Whatever makes me happy, know I'm doing things right Sipping in the summer on a goose and Sprite Or find a nightclub for the end of the night, oh And we all got dreams We all want things But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? And do you believe We can do anything But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be?